23-22. It couldn't be a lot closer, could it? But there, as quiet as ever, I'm not assuming, Steve Wilcock. No histrionics, he just gets on with it. And there's Richard Ewell with some last-minute adjustments. The news on, on uh, Duncan Chapman, by the way, he's um, shaved the skin down half of his body. He's got a few abrasions there from his crash, and he's in a bit of a state, but he's out against doctor's orders, I think, in this particular race. So we hope he can cover himself in glory here. He's on the outside gate. He must be feeling sore. Here we go. They're away. And Mr. Gate here. David Vibe leads from Steve Wilcock. Richard Yule and Duncan Chapman. And it's Duncan Chapman. Have a look at this. Vibe and Billy having a bit of a battle royal here. Steve Wilcock not too far away. Duncan Chapman in third place just ahead of Richard Yule. Brilliant amount of speedway action here. We all come into the scores really tight. There's David Barge, Steve Wilcock in second place. And a bit of a bad battle developing for the minor points. And look at this. Duncan Chapman looking the wrong way. Don't look that way. He's gone past that side. Oh dear. Richard Ewell whipping past Duncan Chapman. Duncan Chapman trying to get back in here. This is good stuff. And Duncan Chapman. Oh, that was awful. That was absolutely horrendous. He just clipped the back wheel, and that's the worst thing you can do. It's always a disaster if you clip someone's back wheel. Um, that's what Duncan Chapman did. Look at the fence as well. The good news is, if you can say good news, at least he hit the, the soft part of the fence. If you're going to hit the fence at all, you don't want to hit that bit on the left or the bit on the right. You want to hit the middle bit. If you're going to hit the fence, hit that bit. So that's what he did. And the other good news is the bike didn't hit him. He sort of left the bike pretty quickly, so I think he's all right. It looked really bad. And, uh, well, it looks as if he's getting up. Can you believe this? He's getting up and he's... Well, I wouldn't say he's all right, but I'm sure he's not all right, but he's certainly coppice mentis. And there's no broken legs involved, I don't think, at this stage. He's holding his wrist a bit. I think his wrist's all right. That's what he broke last time, of course. And there's um, Paul Bentley in the pink dungarees, right of the picture. Duncan Chapman looks to be holding his fingers, or looks to be holding his fingers, we hope he's all right, and uh, to walk away from that takes some doing. He's had a terrible night, Duncan. I'm going to try to fix the fence quickly. I saw Tony Olsen hit the fence in a match at Cradley last season, and he broke his thigh because he hit the wrong bit of the fence. He was flat out, hit um, Mark Loram's back wheel, careered into the fence, a little bit like Duncan Chapman did there, and uh, broke all sorts of bones, so...